All right, let's check back in with that Cody Stark uh, in the fairy okay, garden. Here we go. It's just lovely, Cody. It's lovely. It is so lovely. It's so cute in here. So it started with the book. It started with a book, um, and then uh, we have an Airbnb behind it, and then it started with my love of fairies and my love of, of fantasy, uh -huh. and um, I built a couple of fairy doors and a couple of um, wells. And my husband, who's a genius builder, came in and hit, we can't have this. <laughs> so we have about 15 fairy houses now, a fairy hotel, a fairy castle. Oh, and so kids cute. come back here and they can look at the fairies and the Smurfs and a couple of minions. And they can read the books and, and have a tea party. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, what's your favorite of the fairy houses? I know that's a difficult question for you. Besides the castle, uh -huh. my favorite fairy house can you move. Yeah, my favorite fairy right house the, is the the rock one right over the the rock one oh, right the rock over one there. by the tree over yeah there? that's my favorite oh, one that's with the so bicycle. cute i love that one so that how one. big do the kids eyes get when they walk into the fairy garden huge and you know and it's not just the little kids whose eyes get big the older kids really like it too i mean you have so even that weird 12 13 year old they love the fairy houses <laughs> <clears throat> of course older kids 16 17 they're back into loving them but little kids will sit out here and they don't even need to do the crafts we sit out crafts for kids but they'll like lay there and stare at the stairy house fairy houses <laughs> and some of them move things uh, near the castle um some of the fairies don't like to be moved oh, oh, um yeah. and at night we put sometimes the fairies disappear in the daytime when the kids are out and then at night they come and then lights are on and the fairies come out at night <laughs> so the kids eyes get huge when they see it um they they love the fairy houses and and they love looking at the fairies oh, i love it so much it's so sweet i love it back here uh if people would like to stay at one of your properties because you're not just staying at the property you're also getting like a whole experience you're getting her experience <laughs> she's the experience uh what do they need to do um go on to airbnb and um just this house is the renovated house in plymouth um, the other one's the bunkhouse, or you can just Google um, Elizabeth Chapin Pinotti, and it'll take you to both of them. Uh, would it be okay if we stick around a little bit longer and show off another one of the houses? Absolutely. Okay, because they've got another property that is so adorable, I just want to move in, like, tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds good. Tomorrow. Okay, Happy tomorrow. Anytime. I'm moving in. Okay, I'm go. moving in tomorrow. Well, we'll show you that coming up in just a second. Don't go away. We got more in the show coming up. And once again, I'm only wearing this jersey because I lost a bet. All right? That's the only reason. Yep. Yeah.